Hi, Ken Siren. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your May 5 and 6. How are you? Advance. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> to my lovely Ken Siren. Okay. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> There's a Glamour Box promotion. <laughs> For the lovely moms, there's a promo, L-U-V-M-O-M, -M. use the code, you get a mystery mom box that we will be sending out to you, give it to your mom, um, if you're a mom, it's yours, <laughs> okay, so that's it, Concern. is your dailies May 5 and 6, also, um, check out the unlimited reading, right now it's already discounted, um, so you just have to check out, and that's it, okay, let's begin, let's vibe with the Cartman C, May 5 and 6, this is for my... Okay, Cancerians. May 5 and 6. Here we go. Six of hearts. Aries got this. Emotional stability. It's just emotions taking me out. Mm. Yep, the old classic is back. Sal in the hits. <laughs> Sal in the hits. Miss hits, I think, here. Six of Hearts, how are you feeling? Emotionally secure. That's good because if you are not insecure with your feelings, then you're emotionally secure. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, when you're emotionally secure, oh, I know what this means. You feel, you feel taken care of. You feel you matter. And normally this is external. It's being given to you by the universe, okay? So it can be the situation. The situation right now between you and this person, you feel confident, you feel strong, nothing can face you. This is the dynamic duo. I'm living for this. I like it. So meaning, um, it's not unrequited, um, you know, contrary to hashtag going virtue, it's quieted. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's reciprocated. Okay. That's good. Soak in that energy, okay? Six of hearts for six of hearts for May five and six for my concern. Now let's see what the tarot is saying here for you guys for my concern. May five and six. Let's see. Got a knave of cups. Here, little fishy is what I call. Here, little fishy. If it's a Pisces, I don't know how you call a fish, but normally how you call a fish is like this. You give them a tempting offer that they can walk with you. Why? Think of it as a little mermaid. Okay. If it's a Pisces you're connecting with or another water sign. Offer them something that they can never have. What is the human world like? This is what you're having with this person. So, or this is you. You're being tempted by this person. Okay. As far as I'm, I'm seeing here with that knave. Because it's a knave. Okay. There's a certain offer. It's a promise. Okay, so you're gonna be like, ah, ah, and then, ah, Ursula. <laughs> I'm kidding. So basically, you know, like this person is a little creepy with their offer because it's not certain. Yes, very good, but not certain. Okay, it's good. Don't worry. I feel it. Don't worry. Okay, don't worry. It's good. You have to give this person a chance. Give them a chance. Consider it. Okay. The tower. Okay. There you go. Surprise, surprise. You know. The tower is sudden change, sudden events, falling apart, uh, you know, to fall into place. But here, this is about removal of blockage. Okay. So this person will cater to your needs, to your wants, you know, trying to persuade you because they're a knave. And I feel like they're slowly removing... I'm not sure why they're saying that, but they're removing the blockages between the two of you. So basically, you're starting to open up and they're starting to open up. Okay? So that's good. That's good news right there. Because first they start as a knave. Sooner or later, because the tower is Mars. So it's going to show Mars is in Taurus right now, right? So it's, it's, it's happening in your 11th house. Okay? And... It's about your dreams. It's it's about your um, it's about your dreams. It's about your feelings, and it's looking as if that this person is unlocking the dream that you want. Okay, 
and it's happening fast. Wait, Mars what goes into your 12. There is unlocking of names here. I can tell with the tower. Something big is hidden behind the tower. Let's see. The Nine of Pentacles. Look at that one. It really is a mermaid. Look at this. Half fish. Okay. Half fish and half peacock. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Half fish, half peacock. That's a monster, Sal. <laughs> no, there's a peacock behind there. Look at that one. Totally. There's two swans over here, and you're here up in the water. So you can be connecting with a Pisces who's slowly revealing themselves towards you. Vice versa for Cross Watcher. Whatever the situation is, um, I feel that slowly the tower being between the two of you, if they're defensive, if they don't want to show their true feelings, vice versa for Cross Watcher, they are getting into their feelings now. Okay? That's a knave of chalice with the Nine of Pentacles. They're being confident, or you're being confident. You're feeling secure. Nine of Pentacles is secure. Okay? Right? Let's see. Next to the Tower, Ace of Swords. Communication, um, true and honest feelings, okay, is being stirred over here. And they mean well, I told you. They're talking about the truth, Concern. If it's a person, um, you know, if it's a person, that is talking to you about things in their life that has been obstructing them. Like, you know, because the tower is about problems. And if they're talking to you about their problems, they are already technically, or if you're doing this, with you. Technically. Okay. <laughs> technically. Because you know how you can share only what you're going through with people who are close to you? So they're already close and they're already attached. But it's a slow process. Okay, leave it to the Taurus. <laughs> Mars and Taurus, yes, I am. <laughs> slow process, here we go. Five of Pentacles. They feel that there was a loss in, uh, tr loss in translation between the two of you. They say women are from, uh, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. I call it here, it's a switch. The man here lives in Venus, and the woman here is living right now in Mars. That's technically what the, what the whole dating life is right now, right? The women are the more assertive, and the men are the more submissive, and I don't know, I need to be loved, da, 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 right? So it becomes an obstruction between the two of you. I feel like there is an exchange in the energy, and that's a blockage. Because... You as a feminine energy, so I want to be taken care of. I'm the girl over here. <laughs> I'm the feminine energy here. Why am I trying to take it? Why, right? There's a switch. It's almost like Freaky Friday, what happened, you know? Lindsay Lohan and I forgot, Sigourney Weaver. No, that's, a, that's the alien. I forgot the other. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. So it's a freaky Friday that happened between the two of you. You're the one caring and nurturing when I'm the feminine energy and they're the masculine cell. Freaky Friday. Okay. So you are the mermaid half fish. So they are half fish in the front on the top. You understand me? Can see that. Bottom they have feet. And then on top they only have the, the fish looking. Oh no, fish looking is not good, right? That's a bad term. When someone looks like a fish, it's not good. Eight of Swords, I know, I'm very, uh, <laughs> you're feeling like, Sam, what are you just doing? It's just like, focus on the read. Come on. Take a chill pill. You're dealing it with take way too much serious. Concern. Don't take love too seriously. Because Venus is not about serious. It's about pleasure. Balanced pleasure though. Okay. Eight of Swords. Someone here is fearing to open up with you, and it takes time. Very, very gradual. Ace of Swords with Eight of Swords. They feel that they can't. They're not worth it. Um, I need, not that, not that they know that they need time. I need to transform first so I can be with you. And for you with the Five of Pentacles, then let's not talk. <laughs> okay. Again. Women are from Venus, men are from Mars. This is what you're going to tell. But this person, the masculine energy right now is living in Venus, Venus mode. Okay? They want to be nurtured. They want to be cared because they're scared. They're frightened. They don't know what to do. And they're just slowly opening up to you. That slow process, I'm seeing here, that's already progress. 
But right now, you guys are not talking because they can't talk because of their fear. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. We'll see where is that emotional security that you're feeling from this person, 911, when I said that one. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This is going to be your May 5 and 6. Consider and link down there for the grammar box and also for the unlimited reading. Bye, guys.